Onisama? Nah. We are Onisama now. Yo, Mayumi's little sisters, I think they're twins. Like, I think they're twins, right? That's why they were able to be so synchronized to the point Tatsuya was like, yo, they're actually so synchro. This is so hard for actual magicians to do. They're so special, right? One is a very feisty one. One is a very soft uwu one. The soft uwu one really likes not Onisama, but Miyuki, Onisama. She wants to get into the family. It's so funny to see more. Is it incest memes? It's not really. It is what it is. I don't really know. We had a lot more different um, plot dump about regarding like the Yotsuba family in the beginning, as well as the humanist group, the end of season two, where basically a group of people, and that was kind of orchestrated by that Chinese guy, the tea guy, the long haired dude, right? They're all doing this shit. And remember the topic of the sages? Remember in season two? Shizuku had a date in America, and the blonde haired guy talked to Onisama through face, face cam or something, right? And we're talking about the existence of some kind of deep web where you can access shit, but it like leaves traces, and there's these sages and stuff like that. And there's a skeleton guy that's talking to the Chinese guy. Are they all kind of related somehow? All the different plot points are slowly gathering. Just bear with me. Well, let's begin today's reaction. Yo, they're slow dripping us with the Yotsuba stuff. Onisama, the movie. The movie when she wouldn't even like she was kinda scared of Onisama in the beginning. Hmm. You wanna get to know me? Oh oh how? You wanna go on a date? April 13th. Welcoming inexperienced people. Man, wouldn't that be nice? In like an actual real life scenario, you're go looking for a job. It's like a fucking minimum wage job, or like it's like your first job out of college, it's like your first freshman job. And then the experience is like minimum five fucking years for like an entry level job. You need to have experience to get experience. But how are you gonna get experience if you don't have experience? Imagine if people are like this, welcoming inexperienced people. God fucking damn it. This is discipline committee guy, right? Yes, yes. So uh, this is um, the guy that I was shitting on in the beginning, but he actually redeemed himself, right? He was the one that was kind of bullying the girl, but actually he was so into the girl and he... he I forget the reasoning. Why did he even start to try to like kill her? He did, I mean, didn't he try to kill her, right? He, he used the magic sword on her, but it's like, it's because she was like losing her way and he always wanted her to be like this ideal image. I forget. Kirihara is this guy, right? I think he redeemed himself really well. This other guy, um, the guy that I always like confuse himself with Morisaki. Fuck Morisaki still. I haven't seen Morisaki wrong. I haven't seen Morisaki yet. Fuck him. I, I hope he's still hospitalized from season one tournament arc. <laughs> But the guy in the middle, Hanzo, right? Hanzo, yeah, Hattori Hanzo. Sounds like a fucking ninja. This guy was also the guy that tried to start shit and Onisama pretty much showed him up. And then he calls Onisama Onisama, dude. Like, shpo. Shpo. Hmm? Someone starting shit? Robot Research Club's garbage. Welcome newcomers. They're fighting over this kid to see whose club they're gonna join. Ro oh, shpo. So, wait, wait, wait. Robot Research Club and Motorcycle. You got, they got a fucking motorcycle club at the school? That sounds fucking sick, but interesting that they don't wear like regular outfits like uniforms like look, maybe that is a club uniform right if you're like a motorcycle club maybe you need to have like this kind of clothes no. oh the Yuki. other seven yeah someone actually mentioned that i asked like what does it what does it mean double seven arc Shpo, uh, his name japanese it has something related with seven and some with saigusa family also seven so it's like double seven both rookies seven seven <laughs> Okay, so Kazumi or Izumi, I forget this one. She is Discipline Committee. Shippo is Extracurricular Activities Federation. I thought he was also Discipline. Get lost. Oh. Fight. 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 Yo, he's so insecure. 
お前のテルマクは執行部の指示に従わなきゃならない言われなんてないんだ最後さワールスター I got my phone out bro I got my snapchat ready Look at the bro did an entire fucking pose! Shippo no Kenka or Sayu Sanga Kau Tenoka. Let's go! Let's go! Your other half's not here. Will you be okay on your own? Because, like, obviously, with the twins, right? She's like stronger in practice. Ooh, shit talking. Oni Sama's probably gonna come in here and just stop both, right? And everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, it's Jesus Christ! Yeah, who asked for you two? What are you guys doing? Miyuki. Oni sama. Yeah, what are you guys doing? There won't be a next time. What are you gonna do? Fucking Kokutis? Lunar magic? Discipline committee gonna get disciplined? <laughs> Yo, the amount of animosity Shippo has is insane, and I'm not sure if this directly... I think this is more directed at Izumi, right? Or Kazumi, the Saigusa sisters. He is kind of... In, like, he was kind of starting to shit with Onisama too, but I think this is more about the Saigusa family. Like, 2080, Onisama, and Saigusa, maybe. Okay, her name is Kasumi, okay. Izumi is the soft one. Yep, it was not about the clubs. It's all about family clan competition. Last episode, they mentioned that the Saigusa is like higher up, right? Shippo is like one of the hundreds or was it one of the 28s? I think we learned about the 10 clans before in season one and two. Last And then last episode, there's like, oh yeah, there's the existence of the hundreds, but there's also like top 28 or some shit. Shippo lands in top 28 or is he beneath that? Yeah, Saigus has popped top 10, and Shippo kind of wants to get there, obviously, right? Shippo is below them. Yeah, that, that's kind of where, like, the anime... But why specifically the Saigusa? Yeah, assistant families is what they're called, right? Top clans, the top 10, assistant families, the 100 families. And, but, like, there's so many different... Like, he's not starting shit with the Jumonji family. Why just Saigusa specifically? I think last episode they mentioned some kind of personal, like, family grudge from the past. I forget the exact details. Could it be just because they're both first-year rookies? It's just the fact that Saigusa family is there, right? As first-year, as rivals. I think that's why Shippo just... Who are these people? This is Shippo? Fair. New factions? We know about New Breed Front, but what is fair? Magish, magician Supremacist Extremist Group. So there's the Humanist, but there's also the Magician Supremacist Extremist Group, okay? Yeah, but using them as batteries to make it look bad, like, oh, look at the magicians, you know, they're making the humans, like, you know, act as fucking battery. USNA humanist among their top players. USNA is the stars related, right? From like a uh, fucking, what's her name? Uh, heavy metal burst! That got fucked up so easily. Uh, Lena, Lena. Trying to make it seem like magicians are dangerous, which kind of works in favor of the humanists. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. What's up, college girl? No, Shippo did it to us! No! He started it! But Mayumi has never lost in a debate. I don't think she's gonna lose to this, her sisters. Okay. I thought that she would like destroy them with facts and logic like Leon Cromwell from Tensura. Kudo. Hmm. Yo, we got that turtleneck at home. Damn! Yo, look at the Patriarch's fucking den. He just knows fucking everything. 
They talked about this a couple seasons ago, right? About how Yotsuba, compared to the other 10 clan members, each 10 clan members is roughly competing against each other at the same level. But Yotsuba themselves are so fucking strong, they overshadowed the 10 clans. And this dangers them, right? So, how do we solve this? Patriarch Kudo has been putting a lot of attention and affection into Onisama, right? Kudo really, really acknowledges Onisama. The only other character that Kudo kind of acknowledged after was fucking Honoka, bro. Honoka's like some kind of magic of synchronizing with Pixie. Kudo was like, yo, this kind of magic should not be possible right now. This is some future shit, and Honoka was able to do it. But getting back to my point about how to disrupt, you know, this power balance and maintain the structure. Is the answer Onisama? Is the answer for Onisama to marry into the Saigusa family, strengthen the Saigusa clan, and make them on a level that can compete against the Yotsuba just by himself? I don't, I don't know how... Uh, or does it have to be like a coalition? I don't know. I think the Yotsubas are part of the Ten Clans, aren't they? It's just that they just refer themselves as a Yotsuba, and they are pretty much just so strong that they are better than all the nine clans combined. Your Excellency! Your Eminence! Okay, so the goal is to use the anti-magic faction, the USNA humanists, to diminish the Yotsuba's power. Okay, that's his plan. Onisama! Scorched Halloween! Anime Jesus Christ! Is this Saigusa head? I don't know who this is, but your daughters are attending this. Is, is this Daddy Saigusa? It is! Okay, okay. We were kind of talking about meeting him last season. We never got to really meet him, but okay, that's, this is who he is. Yo, who's the mom? Yeah, fuck the dad. F fuck the dad. Where's the mom? What does Mama Saigusa look like? That's what I'm interested in. All I'm imagining is Miami. But MILF. Oh my god. Your okay. Redirected by using Onisama. Okay. Alright. It's cool to see all these other top players just thinking about Onisama, huh? Tatsuya-ni-san,二人とも。こんな夜更けに住みません。今日はどうして東京にいらなかったはずだが、実はお二人にお伝えすることがありまして、マスコミ工作が仕掛けられています。The right. USNA anti-magic, the humanist group that we're talking about just now, humanists. Government, Parliament, okay. That's right. How dare the humans be used as battery? You're basically taking all our graduates to strengthen the military. Okay, that's their narrative. No, the children yearn for the army! <laughs> Gotcha. Very carefully crafted. Mm. Jimonji! I can't say that Jimonji is the most average Japanese anime high school student anymore because he's graduated, but like, bro. He looks younger now, actually. Like, season one and two? Like, <laughs> bro, it's. Bro looks 30 years out of jail, bro. Bro looks like he has fucking kids to raise, but this season, I don't know. They did his makeup, maybe he paid a, you know. He tried to do the uh, skincare routine. Maybe he looks a little bit younger. Different studio. The CGI behind. Oh my god, the CGI NPCs behind, bro. Look at them walking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Silenced. Silenced. USNA humanist stuff. One hour ago, magicians are privileged class. Magician officers are favored. Which one has more power? Magicians are controlling the SDF, the army. This is the truth. The reality of magicians being used for their militaristic purposes. We can't choose our own future. Young magicians drafted to the SDF. It's a pretty good narrative to go by, right? By like almost saying we need to do this for the people. 
military is poaching, you know, indoctrinating these kids when they're young and trying to poach them, and it's bad, you know. Well, think about the humans. Think about the magicians. You know, we need to free them from themselves. So, okay, I see what they're doing. それは、それぞれの操作が違うからだ。知っての通り、我が呪文事件は情報収集があまり得意ではない。怒らないで。They got good intel. And the patriarch will literally just talking about how to use their own campaign against them. Jumonji is spot on right now. It's just that they don't really have the full picture of what they're trying to do, right? Am I, am I following with the plot? No backroom maneuvering. Yeah, he has his reasons to do this. It's the go against the Yotsuba clan, too. At a glance, it seems like it, but he's actually trying to save them against the Yotsuba and also handle the, the fucking anti magic people, too, at the same time, right? You got to come over? You fucking call out Mayumi, you got to come over? Onisama still hasn't been over yet. Oh! Side profile, Mama Saigusa. Now, is she, dude? Onisama's mom, bro. Both the auntie Mia and Maya, the Yotsuba milfs, are fucking so, so hot. The movie, bro. The Okinawa movie. Oh my god. <laughs> they are peak milf. Now, Mama Saigusa. Let's see if she can compete. <laughs> Listen, she did just graduate. She's getting older. She was wearing a different thing. It was a side profile. I thought it was. I thought it was the mom. I I thought it was the mom. Okay, give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. God damn it! Where's the mom? Is mom dead? Katsuki, Yoron ni taiko suru yuko na shudan ga nani ka. The most effective way to counter public sentiment. How do you manipulate the masses? You set yourself on fire. Anakoji. Set your own fucking tent on fire. Let the fire fucking ravage. Let everyone get fucking mad. Let chaos ensue. And then swoop in with the solution. Divide and conquer. Confuse the masses. <laughs> Multiple small fires. Gotcha, gotcha. Skill issue, fuck him. Skill issue, fuck him. Yo, Daddy Saigusai never expected him to be so cunning like this. Is he though? Because Mayumi is a fucking debate lord who's never lost a debate in her life. She's also very cunning. She's very good at arguments. It does make sense. She got those qualities from Daddy Saigusai. It's just that Daddy Saigusai looks like he seems to operate in the shadows more while Mayumi seems to be such a bright sun. You know what, you know what I mean? Okay, regarding the side manipulation, Jumonji family hereby requests. <laughs> You make your regret known and immediately suspend. What? So, okay. He doesn't like it. Small people can perish. People can perish in small fires. So he's saying, no. You, I want you to suspend this. Sit down, kid. Buying time? Buying time, maybe? They're still being so courteous and respectful, even though the topic that they're arguing about is so... Um, there's a, there's a rich ass mom. She looks bored. She's rich. She's got a book. She's got, she's got like a foot thing. And then there's this girl on the right who seems like a servant girl. And she's got like a doll. This is a kid. It's a kid with a doll asking a mom, mom, I'm bored. Do you want to play? But the mom was like, fuck off, bitch. Is, is that, is that the picture? Is, is that the interpretation of this picture? Is that... 
how Mama Saigusa is to Mayumi. Because, like, if Saigusa is looking at this, we see an interpretation of a picture of a mom and a daughter. Maybe it's their family? The mom's an evil bitch. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Kudo sensei is on our side. The patriarch is like, fucking ball out, Saigusa, go in. But it's not pointless. It's not pointless. It's a very calculated plan. Hmm. Sister? For the people of the school that she led? Yo, this is Onisama's new setup? Because, like, before, uh, he has to have a huge, just like, OLED fucking big monitor, right? The TV in the living room. Yo, look at this. He's got a fucking triple monitor. What the fuck kind of monitor is even this? Each one of them is like a fucking square, bro. It's like a triple chode setup with like a fucking desk lamp right above. Pictures of Miyuki probably. Yo, only, he's, only thing missing is the Crocs. I just wish that only someone was wearing fucking Crocs here. So okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I, was, I was memeing too much. I was memeing too much. Okay, government person, member of parliament, visiting our school. Okay. Gotcha. Maybe Shippo will fuck stuff up. Maybe Kasumi and Shippo being so young and arrogant. Fake news! Fake news! Yeah, their family are cousins. The intel is so valuable. Mocha ending? And that's the episode. A lot of things to unpack this episode, a lot of setup. But from what I'm getting is basically think of it like this. There is this USNA humanist. What is a humanist? They're pro-human anti-magic. All the stuff from last season with the tower shit. It's basically them trying to fuck shit up. And currently our plan is to counter these humanist interactions by spreading a fire, almost kind of like leaning into it to cause like chaos, divide them into small little fires so that we can contain and control it. That's the plan that Saigusa Head and Kudo has come up with. Now, will it actually go through? I don't know. And a lot of it kind of focuses around Onisama. Next episode, the parliament member is going to show up with a bunch of newspaper people. And they're going to start interrogating. Did the military tell you to sign up? Do you want to go to the military? Y'all kids need to be freed from that. We'll figure out a way to deal with it. But I just feel like Shippo or someone else is going to fuck this up. And it's going to look bad. But that's pretty much it. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time. Take care.